everybody and welcome to West Week 2011, an annual market event held here at the Pacific Design Center in West Hollywood. Today we're celebrating the launch of Studio Baccarat, a new community specifically for interior designers. We're going to be talking about some interesting lighting designs as well as where and how to hang this great big chandelier. I'm Kelly Edwards and this is Editor TV. Let's say I was going to put this one in particular in someone's house. Where do you see this going? You know, I think that there are really no rules anymore, so before you'd have the chandelier in the in the dining room, that would be it. Um, you do hallways, living rooms, you know, above a beautiful center table. Are there other spaces that you use chandeliers in? I use chandeliers everywhere. Powder rooms, dressing rooms, closets. I use them everywhere because they're such great light. They're, they're, you know, they can be intimate and wonderful. They can be formal. They can be casual. They're fantastic. So I am a big proponent of chandeliers. It's a, it's a decorative element. It's a jewel, kind of the icing on the cake, so to speak, in a room. My clients are younger and they don't want their grandparents' Baccarat. You know, they don't want the super, you know, traditional. They want something with a little flair to it. And this does it. You know, this kind of gives does Baccarat a kick and does something that's fun and interesting and different. Chandeliers have the stigma of being, you know, uh, feminine, so I'd like to do maybe a, you know, kind of like a real guy chandelier, you know, manly chandelier. Like a brown with leather? Maybe some leather shades. Maybe you could do, you know, kind of a cognac color. I think the, end, you know, the possibilities are endless. Mandelier, that's something new. Let's look it up. The way the denim chandelier came about is from Seven Jeans. Uh, we designed this chandelier for one of their stores, um, and they asked for denim shades, so we made the denim shades. It, it created such a buzz that we decided to produce it, and that's how a lot of things come about. Philippe Stark asked us to do our chandelier in black, so we did it. Um, it became a worldwide hit, and then Philippe Stark asked us to do this. We did it. This is our number one selling chandelier now. And we continue to evolve as a company using designers, partnering with them, doing things in crystal that you wouldn't think could be done. When did Studio Baccarat launch? Um, it actually launched this week with the pop-up showroom. So LA is the first, the first market to see it. People really understand not only the value of a product like Baccarat, which has you know phenomenal reputation and is such a beautiful product, but they don't want something that's going to look like every, what everyone else has. And so the idea of customization and having something that is really special to my client has a tremendous appeal and impact. Thanks everybody for joining us for the launch of Studio Baccarat, where we have talked about chandeliers, mandeliers, and everything in between. I'm Kelly Edwards, and this is Editor TV, and we'll see you next time.